is there any merit at all in Mr. Putin's notion that Ukraine belongs in Russia's sphere of influence, given the history, given the background? There are many countries in this world who could claim that another country is, uh, belongs to them, that another country is part of their history. But if we adopt this approach, then a third world war will immediately break out because everyone will be fighting everyone over history. We shouldn't be uh, focused on history. We, shouldn't be, we should be focused on the future. And the future is in the respect of territorial integrity and sovereignty of countries. Back when the Soviet Union collapsed and Ukraine became an independent country, that there was a lot of uh, pro-Russian sentiment that there were positive feelings about Russia. Has that changed in terms of public opinion in your mind? That uh, changed dramatically in 2014. In fact, what President Putin did in 2014, he made millions of Ukrainians turn their backs to him because they realized that uh, Russia is not only about culture, about um, friends, but also about shells, war, and suffering. And the public surveys that are being conducted regularly in Ukraine demonstrate that the number of Ukrainians who consider uh, Russia as a safe neighbor is going down every year. I think this is the biggest mistake President Putin ever made in his life, to alienate millions of Ukrainians. He's alienated the Russian speakers who I no, hear are he, speaking in, U, in Ukrainian now. Ukraine is a bilingual country. And uh, I speak two, two both languages. Uh, that's fine. The language issue is politicized, but it's not actually an issue in our domestic life. President Putin continues to insist that his role is to defend Russian speakers uh, in Ukraine or elsewhere in the world, but in fact, Many Ukrainian soldiers, they speak Russian, and they do not need that defense. President Zelensky is a Russian speaker. It doesn't make difference in Ukraine which language do you speak. What makes a difference is whether you support democratic Ukraine being part of the collective West with functioning market economy and human rights, or you want to live in an authoritarian country where police beats, can beat you on the street, where you cannot do business without bribing an official like it is the case in Russia. This is the difference. It's a choice between democracy and authoritarian regime. It's a choice be, uh, between belonging to a country that defends what it stands for and belonging to a country that attacks those who, in the view of that country, pose a threat to them.